show you guys that will be going live Friday 9 a.m. for all you Swarm Club members. Jay Taylor, what's up, brother? How are you? Uh, how to do? How to do? How you doing today, bro? I hope uh, your week's treating you well, and I uh, hope the family's doing well. Um, I take it you're looking forward to going to Planet Comics. Thank you, Dakota. Right on. All right, whoa, all these things just popping up all over the phones. JC Coates, how are you today? It's good to see you. Um, I hope you've had a great week. I hope your weekend plans are amazing. So everybody, let's get into our new segment. Okay, let's start things off with our Sworn Club member spotlight for this week. It is the one and only sassy gal from Down Under that is a big Hell Witch fan, that is Haley Anderson. Everyone give a fawn swarm to Haley Anderson. Um, she posts a lot on the Swarm Nation. Uh, she did a beautiful uh, violin uh, sequence for us. Uh, I believe it was last year, maybe two years ago, for um, one of the cons we were doing online. Uh, she's a really big fan. Everybody loves her. And um, congratulations, Haley. And thank you for being our Swarm Club member. Thank you for uh, supporting us over the years, and it's, I'm glad you found us. All right, uh, for Swarm Club, speaking of Swarm Club, we last week did our monthly drawing for Swarm Club members. And you know, might be asking, well, what's this drawing for? Well, every Swarm Club member that is registered, we go ahead and put their names in a bag. Actually, we want to talk about a bag. It's a huge box. You go and pull your name. We pull out three Coffin Comics swag bags with comics, stickers, you know, whatever. We throw it in there, we do a raffle, and three Swarm Club members win. You get to win the bag and everything in it. So it pays to be a Swarm Club member. We just did that last week. May is coming up, so uh, sign up and maybe you'll be the lucky Swarm Club member name we pull. Also, um, we did a great video on YouTube. Speaking of YouTube, we've been doing tests, so if you guys could, uh, Watch a little longer, make some comments. We were trying to see if we can get a YouTube to push our algorithm out to make sure we can capture some new eyes and get some new fans. Um, so what we did is we did a great uh, video with catching up with Eric Henson, who's a local artist that will be doing some really amazing additions for us. He's the one that did Cowboys from Hell from us last year that was absolutely stunning. And it definitely went over well with the fans because it sold out quite quickly. Um, also, we had a, um, on April 28th, there will be a din uh, dinner with Brian. Beer with Brian. Now, if you don't know what those are, this is where Brian, you can ask him questions. He's just going to chill, drink a beer with you. And, uh, you know, you ask him your questions. He gives you uh, some insight on what's going on here at Coffin Comics and all good things here at HQ. So, Swarm Club uh, membership is a yearly club. Some of this special membership business are the following. You get special access to Comic Comics News Insiders before anyone else. Early access to the Coffin Comic shop promotions. That's right. Swarm Club members get to buy the exclusives we put up on our promos an hour before the general public. So it really gives you a great opportunity to pick up some of those great exclusives that we have very limited amounts of. Um, there is an invite only special online events and announcements that uh, is also a benefit. Special access to uh, Coffin Comics Swarm Club members only comics and merchandise 
a one-pot, one-time 10% discount on certain items offered on CoffinComicShop.com, and you are automatically entered to win the monthly drawing. So there's a lot of great benefits, a lot of great stuff. Jimmy just posted the link if you haven't signed up for the club. Click on that link and join us here. Who knows? Your name may be the one we draw next month. All right. Speaking, this weekend is coming up. Kansas City, here he comes. Brian Polito will be invading Planet Comic Con, and the exclusives for that will launch this Friday. So, if you're attending the Comic Con in Kansas City, Brian will be at booth 3741. Also join Brian Friday the 22nd at 6 p.m. in room 2504B for the Horror Influence in Comics panel. Now, I gotta tell you, I've seen Brian on panels and it's really informative. He gives you great information. And not only that, it's just, it, it's great because Brian's a fan like all of us. And it's neat to see what his influences um, that have made him the creator he is. Um, all creators have had very major influences. Brian's has been, of course, horror and Captain America. Captain America is pretty badass. So check out that panel if you can. So we're going to be launching exclusives at the store. There will be copies at his booth as well. So one of the items I'd like to show you today, uh, this is very hot. Uh, these will launch on Friday the 22nd. 9 a.m. Mountain Standard Time for all of you Sworn Club members, which is 9 a.m. Pacific Daylight Time, 11 a.m. Central Daylight Time, and 12 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time. That's when Sworn Clubbers get to grab these exclusives. Now, you folks that aren't Sworn Club members, um, on Friday, April 22nd at 10 a.m. Mountain Standard Time, so an hour um, after the Sworn Club members are in, uh, you all get to go ahead and jump in and get up those exclusives. Now we are uh, estimated to be shipping these editions on May 13th of 2022. So here's some of the exclusives. We have Lady Death, Oblivion Kiss, Farmer's Daughter Edition, covered by David Harrigan, $25. It is full color, 24 pages, limited to 150 serial numbered copies. Product is strictly limited to two copies per customer, per household. Any duplicate orders will be canceled. So this is a really beautiful image. I mean, home, home on the range, where Lady Death roams. Okay, so here's another one from the very talented David Harrigan. This is Oblivion Kiss, Naughty Farmer's Daughter Edition. It'll run you $30, limited to 200 serial number copies, and again, just like the nice version, this product is strictly limited to two copies per customer per household. Duplicate orders will be canceled. <coughs> Excuse me. Also, another one we are very proud to do, another of our new homage line. This is Lady Death Killers, Death After Life Edition. Stephen Butler, Dan Feldmeyer, definitely do an homage to the 1985 album Live After Death by Iron Maiden. Uh, this product is strictly limited to 200 copies per customer and is limited to 200 serial number copies. The price is $25. This will go live Friday morning. All right. Now, what would be a really cool metal homage cover about a really kick-ass metal band? Then a metallic version. This is Lady Death Killers. Death After Life Metallic Edition. Butler and Feldmeyer are doing it again. Price is $100. Limited to just 44 serial number copies. So these probably will go very quick. This is only going to be 44 serial number copies of this edition. This product is strictly limited to one copy per customer, per household. Any duplicate orders, of course, will be canceled. Beautiful, beautiful books. But wait, there's that. Oh, that's not all. We even got more for y'all. How about this absolute, what just fell on my foot? Okay, this is Lady Death, Sacrificial Annihilation, Lady Satanist Rookie Card Edition. Diego Bernard and Hi-Fi are making that cover pop like you wouldn't believe. It's limited to 100 serial number copies, run you $25, limit one copy 
per customer, per household, and yes, duplicate orders will be canceled. All right, another special one we got coming out. I really love that we're doing these old retro lines. This is Lady Death Fantasies, Tomb of Lady Drac Retro Edition. Butler and Feldmeyer again. Taking it to a new level. This will run you $25, limited to 150 numbered copies. Limit two copies per customer per household. This is an homage to the Tomb of Dracula number one from April of 1972. And look, here it is, 50 years later, to the month, we are doing that edition. That's kind of cool. I don't know if we planned that or not, but if we did, awesome. All right, very special right here. Lady Death All Hollows Evil number one, Lunar Edition. This is by Brian Five. Price is $25. Uh, limited to just 99 serial number copies, and this product is strictly limited to one copy per customer. So he's also got a special offer he'll be doing at his booth, two at the Planet Con, and he's offering six of those special editions to us here at HQ, so I'll go ahead and uh, let you know about that later on after the presentation. Next up, here she is again, Don McTague. This is the Naughty... Crown Hollow Foil Edition. It'll run you $80. Only 77 serial number copies. Limit one copy per customer per household. Very beautiful image by Don McTake. Let's not have you slip out. I know you're a mock-up, but I want to be professional. All right. And last, actually, no, not last. I got more stuff to show you. This is Lady Death Killers Tease Metallic Edition. Mike DeBalfo, CC Dela Cruz are doing it right on this cover. Price is $100, limited to 50 serial number copies. Limit one copy per customer, per household. But wait, we aren't just offering comics. We are also offering collector boxes. Yes, that's right, everyone loves the collector boxes. Let me get my notes on here. <clears throat> Excuse me. I should have had a drink of Wawa. So collector boxes. They're very popular here on the Coffee Comic Shop. This one right here is Lady Death Naughty Lace Collector Box. Matt Mirhoff did the art. This is a very popular image here. The price is $25. It is a collectible store folio box with custom artwork inserts on the front cover and spine. It also contains the magnetic closures, so it's nice that they used to do Velcro on these things and the glue just wouldn't last, so the Velcro would come apart and it was very easy for these flip open your box to slip out. So this has got the nice metallic clips. Now this product will be available only at the Coffin Comic Shops. They will not be at the con. This, store, this offering is only on the Coffin Comic Shop. It is strictly limited to two boxes per customer. And we have a second box to offer you as well this weekend. This is the Ritual Collector Box. Anthony Space, C.C. Dela Cruz, another very popular image. Uh, this will run you $25, and there is a limit of two boxes per customers per household. These boxes do really well. They've been a very hot item. Um, we tried to get a bunch back in the day when you had all those shortages, but thank God we've got a bunch of them coming back in and so far. They are absolutely beautiful, um, and they are in limited quantities, so they do go very fast. So other things we are offering are, of course, the 11 by 17 prints. These will run you $16. There's the Naughty Farmer's Daughter by David Harrigan. $16 for that. Here is the Tomb of Lady Drac Retro. Again, $16 for this as well. Oopsie. All right, and another 11 by 17 of the Wookiee card of Lady Satanus. This is available. Life after death, or death after life. 11 by 17 print is also available. Farmer's Daughter, again, $16. And unfortunately, I couldn't find it, but there is a Lunar 11 by 17 print that will also be $16. And of course, there is a print set where you can get all six prints for the great price of $64. That's six 11 by 17 prints, all the Planet Con ones we are offering for a great price of $64. That includes Farmer's Daughter, Naughty Farmer's Daughter, Death After Life, Retro Lady Drag, Looter, and Rookie Card. Now, here's a special thing about the prints. Orders will be cut off on Monday, April 25th at 5 p.m. Arizona time. 
So make sure you get your print orders, if you're a print collector, make sure you get those in early and before Monday at 5 p.m. Arizona time so we can make sure we get the right quantities printed out for you. Also, that's what hit me on the butt. There will be metallic cards. Excuse me. These Metallica cards. Metallica cards. It's a day. <laughs> right here, we have the Lady Death Retro Track Metallic card. $12, 66 serial numbered cards will be offered. One card per customer. And also, we have the beautiful Lady Satanis Rookie card. This is a Metallic card edition. It will be um, limited to 250 serial numbered uh, cards. Also, this is limited to three copies. So you can get three of these if you are a big metallic card fan. And Diego Bernard, again, is just doing amazing art for us, as always. So thank you, Diego, for being here. Now, the last thing I'd like to talk about, something we are offering, but there's only going to be six of them available on the store. All right, artists, Brian Five is offering an oversized and framed fine art canvas print of his Lady Death Lunar Masterpiece. It's limited to 600, uh, excuse me, six copies and retails for 285. That this will be offered also at Brian Five's booth at Coffin, uh, Planet Comics and at his uh, online store. Jimmy, I think I might've said that wrong, so. Okay, I think we got it right, all right. Yeah, Carmen, that, that uh, Don McTagg, oh my God, that is a really beautiful print. I definitely agree. All right, we have three weeks and we are launching La Muerta Prime Evil Kickstarter. And we are proud to announce Billy Tucci is the legend artist for this Kickstarter. <laughs> Hells yeah, Billy Tucci is an award-winning cartoonist, best known for his modern-day samurai fail shite. Uh, though Billy, uh, Billy's Crusade Fine Arts and Multi Eisner Award nominated, she has been printed in five language and sold more than three million copies. That's amazing for an independent publisher. I hope you guys realize that. And he is a damn amazing one. So right here, let's show off Billy Tucci's Legend Edition art. This Kickstarter launches in three weeks. That will be Wednesday, May 11th. 2022, 7 p.m. Mountain Standard Time slash Arizona Time, 7 p.m. Pacific Standard, 10 p.m. Eastern Standard. Join us with the fun. We always have fun and shenanigans. Brian's always pulling out the surprises. Whew, check out this Gomez cover. Brandon, my copies are black and white. I apologize. But this thing is absolutely stunning. This will be the Joel Gomez edition. Some other lovely editions as well is we have the Tamora edition, which is her first appearance in this story, and a really great piece by Monty Moore. This is the uh, pop art edition. Boom. So join us in three weeks. We'll have mock-ups to show you all the beauty and colors that is going on in that Kickstarter. It's gonna be great, it's gonna be a blast. All right, also thank you everyone who helped uh, Necrotic Genesis Kickstarter be one for our records. Uh, we've begun getting the books in, laying our eyes on them to do the QC process, make sure everything is as good and beautiful as you expect our quality control here at Coffin Comics. All right. Also, the Hell Witch versus Lady Death uh, Wargasm Kickstarter. We're still shipping them out. The crew is busting their butts. Um, they were able to uh, get 400 orders out this past Friday. So they are really working hard. They are busting their butts to get these books out to you and on time. Again, we have the Coffin Comic Shopping Network on YouTube on Mondays. If you guys join us uh, at 3 p.m., if you could please watch, uh, watch for a while, make comics, stay till the end, and we would greatly appreciate it. We're trying to see if um, YouTube would give a little extra push. All right, so that's all the beautiful things I have to offer for you today. Now, let's get on to the, uh, the section we all know and love. This is the Catacombs. Dun, dun, dun. Welcome to the Catacomb Show. I got things to show you, foe. Okay, we have here. These are homage card sets. These are extra cards. There's four of them. Two metal, 
two hollow foil that we had made for the signed special editions. Well, these are the extras we held back in case of they're in loss and damages. So I have about four sets available now. So all you card collectors, here's a way to get a duplicate of an item maybe you weren't able to get a hold of previously or something new in your collection. All right, let's start things off also. This is the very last copy of La Muerta Descent Calavera Edition. This is a jeweled edition. This was from La Muerta's first Kickstarter campaign. So you want a little piece of history, especially all you La Muerta fans, here it is. This is the first La Muerta jeweled edition. All right, next up I also have the last of the last, and this is the very last copy of Hell Witch. Hellborn Homage Edition by Marat Michaels. This is the last copy. Nicole, how are you? Oh, good. I'm glad that I all came here. Thank you, guys. Thank you for all your beautiful comments. You're all lovely, beautiful people. Why? Because it's Coffin Comics. Of course we have the best people in the world. Because you're our fans. We love you. All right, here we go. This is also the last copy of La Muerta Pinups number one, Scott Lewis Returns Edition. Uh, Scott Lewis has done editions for us in the past. Uh, probably one that you might have seen, a real popular one, is the Ace of Spades, which has been a really popular cover by him. Well, he came back to us uh, as recently as last year to do a line of new covers for our characters, and this is the last copy of the La Muerta edition he did for us. Let's see, let's see, let's see anyone comments. Me too. Oh, I'm so glad you guys are all getting your stuff. Thank you. Jay Lamorta is everything. What's up, Robert? Jessica, welcome to the show. Look at all you beautiful people. Carmen, Amy Wright, thank you everybody for joining me today. I really appreciate it. All right, let's continue. I got something from the vault. This is Zach, the Zombie Exterminator, Heavy Metal Edition, and this is number six. Number six, Zach, the Zombie Exterminator, Heavy Metal cover. And it's a great homage to the Kiss Destroyer album, so little uh, trivia there for you. Also, this is the last copy I have, another homage by the great Marat Michaels. This is Lady Death Apocalyptic Abyss Homage Damaged Edition. Last copy, low number six, number six, and they are done. We will be officially sold out of those editions. But wait, that's not all. I dug deep and we have found more for all you classic Brian Polito collectors Purgatory Collected Edition Volume 3s. Now this collects issues, two issues, of the monthly series of Purgatory. So if you have any holes of five and six, you can fill them here. The, story, the stories in here are Camilla and Jade. Um, check them out. We've got them here right now. I think I have a few quantities left, so get them before they're gone. Another great classic to add to your collection for all your classic fans there. Also, found some more of these. How about a little bit of Lady Death, The Crucible number one? Oh, God, I'm glad you liked it. <laughs> Good. They, um, I'm glad you like those prints in the grab bag. So this is a classic from the 90s, Coffee and Con or I should say Chaos Comics. And these are the last copies I have available right now. I believe I have about six. So if you're a classic... Chaos, Brian Polito, Completist. Get your copies while I got them, because I will not have them again after this. All right, I also have a little set I made up. This is Lady Death, Unholy Ruin. This is a Dodson collection. You get the premium foil, comic book signed by Brian, and then it also comes with the metallic card, also signed by Brian. So it is a two coffin item set, one comic cover and one metallic card signed by Brian Polito. All right, another classic from the vault. This is Zach the Zombie Exterminator, Zach Edition. This is low number six out of 50. This is a metal cover. I'm getting hungry. All right, found another one of these classics. This is signed. This is Lady Death Reckoning, homage classic by Dan the Man Doza. All you Mendoza fans, pick it up. This is the last copy I have. All right, let's get some mock-ups out to you, lovely people's hands. I have right here, Lady Death, Treacherous Symphony, Premier Edition mock-up. And this beauty, 
I love this cover. This is Sacrificial Annihilation. Naughty Double Danger Mock-Up. Boom! You got the mock-up sticker. You got the mock-up COA telling you all what a mock-up is. Let's read it off for you folks. Coffin Comics makes, uh, produces mock-up editions to market and pro promote upcoming editions to readers and collectors. They frequently are, have no interior printing and are not the final product are to be, and to be handled during our promotions. Hence, they are prone to infect it, infections. Imperfections. <laughs> mock-up editions, uh, which range in number from one to four copies uh, per select edition. Our assets of Coffin Comics until sold or gifted. Mock-up editions are offered in an as-is condition and will not be reprinted. This document hereby certifies the authenticity of this mock-up edition. Except no limitations. So, that's everything I have for you folks today on this lovely Wednesday. I hope everyone again had a wonderful Easter with their families. Let me see if anyone has any questions or comments. Dude, yeah, Ratso cover. All right, Brian, if you're watching, let's do a Ratso cover. I know there's a couple of uh, fans of uh, Mad Mike that would love to see a Ratso cover. I totally agree with that. Let's see. Oh, great. I got more people getting in all of their um, Kickstarters. Great. All right, everybody. Well, I'm going to get me some grub in my body because I'm hungry. Anyways, I want to thank you guys for joining me. I'll see you guys Monday. It's great to wear the sombrero again. Thought I'd dig it up. Anyways, everybody, have a wonderful rest of your week. I'm Julian the Hooligan. I am sworn to you. I will see you guys Monday. Everyone have a beautiful weekend. Enjoy it with your family, your friends. Absolutely. Just make it beautiful. Bye, everybody. Thank you again.